Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you the charging battle between BMW i3, the 42 kilowatt hour, and a bunch of other cars. So uh, let's just start driving, I mean, start charging. <laughs> so on the top there, you see the i3, and then I compare it with the E28, which has slightly bigger battery, about 45 kilowatt hour. The i3, I measured to be 38, 39 kilowatt hour. The Ionic one is there, and the MG is also around 42 kilowatt hour. So they are somewhat comparable. So right off the line here, you see that um, the, the E28 gets a pretty good lead. It can charge at 95 kilowatt and then 76 kilowatt so it's the fastest at low state of charge it's really impressive how fast it charges and what else mg okay actually the mg charges slightly slower here than if we charge on 50 kilowatt but hopefully the mg will get a little update but as for the i3 you see that it peaks at around 125 kilowatt, uh, sorry, 125 amp. That seems to be the limit. It seems like a CCS1 standard is the one uh, that limits the i3, and they haven't upgraded it to support more than 125 amp. So you see, because the voltage is somewhat, somewhat low, then you don't get more than around 45 kilowatt now. But as the voltage goes up, then you also get more and more power. But at a certain point here, you will see that the i3 start throttling a little bit on the amp there, there roughly. And what happens here? Well, I saw that at the charger screen that it was still delivering 125 amp, but around 2 amp goes to cooling down the battery. So, uh, you know, because the limitation is in the plug, then you cannot pull more than 125 amp from it. So even if you're pulling a, if you're running the heater, it will also slow down the charging except for when uh, you charge lower than, when you need lower than 125 amp, then the leftover is then, you know, pulled from the charger. But okay, uh, right now we see that um, uh, the, the E28 still has a pretty massive lead. It seems to be the winner here, or is it? Well, we will find out because right behind the E28 is the MG Status EV. Very impressive also that the cheap Chinese car can keep up with a more, uh, well, actually, yeah, it's more expensive. Yeah, it's more expensive. E2 is more expensive. And then how the heck is the i3 going to win here? It's just impossible. It's charging so slow. I feel like uh, the, the i3, even though this one came out in 2000, and I think it was 18 or 19, I feel like the tech in the i3 is lagging way behind these other cars. Okay, some of them are newer, like E28 came out this year, but still, and I feel like it's getting old but then as for ionic ionic should i say anything about ionic it's the underdog here it's charges so slow and this okay in this case it was slightly cold getting but it's not very fast okay oh okay i forgot to mention now at around in the late 60 percent now the e28 started throttling oh no that is not good we are only getting 43 kilowatt right now it would the edge of the e28 is seeming seems to disappear now and what about the mg mg okay also started throttling it's more gentle throttling but what about the i3 oh no what the heck the i3 can still keep up you see it has a nice flat curve almost like the german brother from another mother which is the e-tron so uh, it's now just gaining more and more speed as the voltage goes up but you see that the voltage in the i3 is not as high as the the two uh, to the right one it would actually be great if the i3 pack was configured to have 400 450 volt then it could probably receive uh, 50 kilowatt flat from from the bottom uh, but it's not gonna do that but it's still okay all right, but well, oh no, what happened now? <laughs> the E28 had another break point, dr throttle point. Now it's charging at only 27, 28 kilowatt. <gasps> oh wow, the race is still on for 90%. Who's going to reach 90% first? Oh wait, what, what's going to happen now? The MG set this EV, it's still charging at 38 kilowatt, whereas the, the E28 has throttled to 27 kilowatt. Oh, is it going to beat it? Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's happening now with the i3? The i3 just still keeps going and it still charges like a boss compared to the other ones. And high state of charge? No one can beat the i3. Look at that. It's getting 49 kilowatt, whereas the other ones are getting only 20, 25 kilowatt. That is a joke compared to the i3. So, all right, as the i the i3 is going to pass the e2a look at that oh no but the i3 also start throttling but that doesn't matter because the e2a is now down to 11 kilowatts so the <laughs> the e2a has lost the battle to 90 percent it seems like no one can beat the i3 right now i3 is going to take the victory to 90 percent look at that charges like a boss even at 90 percent it takes almost 30 kilowatt there the i3 is done now the battle comes between the mg status ev and the e2a who's going to win now well uh, the E28 had a pretty nice lead there, but it seems like uh, 
Seems like the MG is catching up because the MG is charging at 17, 18 kilowatt, whereas the E28 is only charging at 11 kilowatt. Is that going to be enough? Oh, it has a 2% lead right now. Come on, E28 just have to reach 90% before the MG <laughs> gets there. But the, you see, the MG actually charges fairly fast still compared to the E28. The E28 is really, really slow towards the end. You don't want to charge to 90% with the E28. But is that going to be enough? Oh, this is just neck on neck now, 88, 89%. Oh, this guy, who's gonna be there first? Come on, come on. Oh no, <laughs> both of them are at 89%. This is so equal. Which car will, oh no, the E28 went there first. Oh yeah, okay, okay, 28, one, but MG right behind it. So if the MG just needs a little update on the charging speed, then the MG will also be really fast. Uh, but okay, what about Ionic? What should I say about Ionic? <laughs> Well, uh, should we still watch it finish? It's going to take forever to watch the Ionic finish. Now, I, I think I think we're done there. Now, is it finished within? I think it took an hour. See, the other cars they needed uh, around 50 minutes. Yeah, 53 minutes to reach 90%. But okay, I should also mention that uh, in most cases you don't need to charge 90%. From what I experienced before, uh, charging to around 75% is plenty for most of these cars because then you can usually drive at least a couple of hours before you take the next charging stop so that's unfortunate for these cars is that they don't have that much range they are hovering around 250 300 kilometers of range so it means that you probably have to charge about every two hours and then every time you have to charge uh, not 53 minutes uh, but you have to charge around 40 minutes every time so two hours of driving and 40 minutes of charging this is the reality for these type of these cars but you know these cars they uh they are not built for long trips like a tesla model sx3 whatever um the long range cars or kona with big battery but uh, on the other hand they can still work on long trips that that's what i'm going to prove in a trip soon in this car uh, which is the E2008, but um, what should I say then? Uh, very, okay, very impressive of the the, the BMW i3. You know, it, I, I wish they could update the i3 to take slightly higher speed. I mean, you can, they, could, they could easily update it to support CCS2 and then, wait, wait a minute, did they say CCS? My bad, CCS1 supports up to 200 amp. Yeah, and CCS2 is beyond 200 amp because uh, the the korean cars like kona e nero they also have only ccs1 plug but it goes up to 200 amp so the plug can go higher but uh bmw they just i don't know uh, they didn't care about updating it it would be great if the bmw i3 could support let's say i mean it's it's a fairly big pack right 44 uh, 42 kilowatt student so it should at least be able to take 75 kilowatt on the bottom that would be huge that could actually keep the i3 alive for a while but it seems like now that bmw they they almost don't care about developing i3 so they might be going other routes like the ix3 or some of the other ones so yeah that is a function because it's a it's a nice car it's actually a pretty good car slightly overpriced in my opinion has some weird door solutions but on that uh still you know the dri the drivetrain of i3 is is considered good by me so all right, again, I guess that's going to be it for now. Yes, a charging battle is always fun. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.